I am Samantha Abrams. I am a graduate student at the University of Wisconsin Madison, um, and I'm the archivist at Culver's. It's a burger joint. Um, I think the best comparison is like Five Guys or Shake Shack. I don't know. Uh, good stuff. I'm in Madison, Wisconsin, and to orient you guys, it's a smaller city compared to DC, um, but it's home to a lot of cultural heritage institutions. Um, I'm part of SAA's student chapter on our campus. This is their mission. It's basically twofold. We serve ourselves, the future archivists, and we serve the community. My problem with being a member of SAA is that we really are good at serving ourselves, and we're terrible <laughs> at serving the public. Um, <laughs> so um, I wanted to change that. Um, I'm the advocacy leader for our group, so I thought I would do what we called personal archiving day. Um, <laughs> and uh, the first idea was actually to do personal digital archiving, um, but then we realized our audience probably would be people not interested in that um, or not ready to do that. So what we instead did was personal archiving day. We invited members of the community to bring in um, things that they have at home. These are from my archive at Culver's, so you don't have sound cans at home or whatever, but close enough. So we invited people to bring books and film and stuff like that. We coordinated with Archives Month, which is an outreach event. It's huge in Wisconsin. We used the Wisconsin Historical Society to our advantage. They advertised for us. Um, it was on their website. It was a good partner to have. But we also did other things, like we emailed politicians. Um, we did not email Scott Walker. We emailed, um, <laughs> we advertised on community calendars. We had a spot on the news for two minutes. And then all that advertising got us these partners. We had experts from the Wisconsin Historical Society, Film and Theater Research, the University of Wisconsin Archives, uh, Wisconsin's iSchool. So we had a good mix of people who were there to talk about different things. Um, then, my, my main point is that these are the students. We had more, but these are the people who were there for the picture. And the thing that I wanted to say about students is that we spent a lot of our time trying to get volunteers, and they all said, we're not experts, we can't do this. This is something that students did. They put these together to uh, give out at the event. This was all compiled by first-year archive students. Just the basics of taking care of stuff that you might have at your home. And everybody loved these. People took some for their friends, people took some for their mom, and they all thought that we bought them or had them commissioned by somebody. Um, but the archive, the first-year students did it. Um, and it was really great because they were terrified that they were gonna lead people wrong. Um, we had 16 people come, which is kind of somewhere in between being successful and being not as successful as I wanted. Um, Madison is small, and I'll talk about a little bit of why 16 is great um, here. <laughs> so what I would change to get more people, um, Wisconsin is a big um, football town, and well, I think my next slide is actually, so we had Star Wars Day at the library the same day. The first thing I would change is to make sure I look at the schedule. Um, <laughs> we planned it in a month. We didn't know uh, that Star Wars Day was the same day, but it turns out more people would rather read with stormtroopers than go learn about film. The other thing is that Wisconsin's a huge football state. We planned it on an off day for the Badgers, and it didn't matter. People still went to the bars to watch the Badgers, so maybe something in the spring would be better. Um, another note was that the audiences that we were trying to reach, especially genealogists, aren't always available. Um, in the fall they're traveling to do research and that maybe another month like a winter month or a spring month would have worked out better for us um, and there's no football. Another thing we us students want to do is um, take it around the state. We wanted this to be people coming from everywhere but Wisconsin is huge um, and we couldn't reach everyone we wanted and advocacy is not about like your convenient area but about the larger people. But my main point, I think, is that this was all done by students, and they continually fought against me and said, well, I don't know anything. I can't help you do this. Um, there's no way. But like, students know things. Um, and I think using them to do more than just processing or more than just you know, data entry and actually getting them involved in stuff is, is great. They know stuff. They want to help. That's why they're in school. So thanks. <laughs>